what it is that we do as human beings is is encounter something like a formless and potential chaos. I mean, we're not omniscient, obviously, and we can't just do whatever we want, but we encounter a formless and chaotic potential. That's always what we're grappling with. And somehow we use our consciousness to give that form. And this is how people act. Like if, if you look at how they regard themselves, it's, it's how they act. Because you say things to people like, well, you should live up to your potential. When, and, and you make a case that there's something about a person that's more than what is, that yet could be, if only they participated in the process properly. And everyone knows what that means, and no one acts like a mystery has been uttered when you say that. And you know, we, you can see a situation in your own life that's full of potential. You're often extremely excited when you encounter something that's full of potential, because what you see is something that could be, you see a future beckoning for you, that could be if only you interacted with it properly and it activates your nervous system, right, in, in, a, in a very basic way. And we even understand how that happens to the degree that we understand how the nervous system works because the systems that mediate positive emotion, which are governed roughly by, dopamine, by the neurochemical dopamine and which have their roots way down in the ancient hypothalamus, a very, very archaic and, and fundamental part of the brain, it, that responds to potential, which is the possibility of accruing something new and valuable, it responds to potential with active movement forward and engagement. It's the, it's the notion that there's something in all of us that transcends all of us, that's deeply structural, that's part of this ancient, well, I would say evolutionary and cultural process that enables us to grapple with the formless potential and bring forth reality, roughly speaking. And then there's the final element, and that element seems to be something like consciousness itself, the consciousness that actually inheres in the individual. So it's not only that you have a structure, it's that the structure has the capacity for action in the world. And it's like, it's, it's you're, the, you're the spirit that gives the dead structure life. Ah, that's such a sophisticated idea as, as, as far as I'm concerned, because, well, there's something about it that's at least phenomenologically accurate, because you do have an interpretive structure and you couldn't understand anything without it. Your very body is an interpretive structure, right? It's been crafted over, let's say, three billion years of evolution. Without that, you wouldn't be able to perceive anything. And it's taken a lot of death and struggle and tragedy to produce you, the thing that's capable of encountering this immense chaos that surrounds us and to transform it into habitable order.